Miss Perry? Am I? Well, I'm non-binary, so. Okay. <laughs> By the way, this this cop, he's just man. He he was a trooper. At a traffic stop, this woke woman plays all the I'm oppressed, I'm a victim cards all at once. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful free and loving friend, where we like to call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants, shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities, and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters. Now, this is everything woke is wrapped into this one thing. This woman who apparently is uh, most presumably drunk driving tries to get out of it. <laughs> All the all the woke. I'm non-binary. I'm I have anxiety. This feels oppressive to me. All the things doing criminal behavior, trying to use all the woke get out of jail free cards. Let's take a look at this poetry in action. What's going on? Nothing. Why are you driving in the wrong way of traffic? No, I just got changed around. I just moved here like two months ago. Okay. I just moved here two months ago from what, Europe? Where you drive on the wrong side of the road? I just got changed around. Okay, do you understand? I just got changed around. Like, yeah, that's the problem. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. That's exactly what happened. You got changed around. That's the problem, not an excuse, woman. And what's going on though? Yes. You're going into oncoming yeah. traffic. I know, and I just decided that it was better just to turn around really Place. Okay. But I'm sorry. I just have like really bad social anxiety and stuff. I get you. I don't want to. I'm a victim. I have bad social anxiety. So drunk driving on the wrong side of the road is like, it's fine. Because I have bad social anxiety. Step out whenever you're asking for stuff. Okay. Well, we're past that. Just go ahead and step out. As an indigenous person. <laughs> Whoa! As an indigenous person, first off, I don't think you are. Second off, even if you are, like, you're being pulled over for drunk driving. Right back here, please. Miss Perry? Am I... Well, I'm non-binary, so... Okay. <laughs> By the way, this, this cop, he's just... Man, he, he was a trooper in a, the most literal sense of the word. I'd imagine his job is easier if he doesn't like resist her resistance. Like I'm non-binary and if the cop were to say like, that literally means nothing. But he's like, all right, you're non-binary. What do you want to be called? So that's fair enough. That's probably the best way for him to handle it. What do you go by? It's Kai. How can I refer to you tonight? Kai? Kai. Okay. Hey, I'm smelling alcohol. I know. How much have you consumed tonight? Like probably through Jing. I need to run you through some tests right now. Stand facing me, please. But I just want you to know that I also have very bad social anxiety. You and me both. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. My social anxiety escalates when I'm being caught committing a crime. So please don't catch me. Let's get some George Soros prosecuting attorneys in here so that my social anxiety that elevates when I'm being caught doing a crime, it, it doesn't have to elevate because I don't get caught doing a crime with Soros prosecuting attorneys. Anyway, I made my point. Okay. Okay. Any recent head trauma, traumatic brain injuries, anything I need to know about? Uh, mental, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely mental. Focus on my finger, please. I am. You're just like trying to intimidate me. I don't know how I'm trying. Whoa, that is good. Like focus on my finger. I am, but you're trying to intimidate me. Like you're raising your finger because you're obviously gonna punch me in the face. Jeez. And do that. This is the test. As you know, as an indigenous person and there's a bunch of shit going around, I'm sorry, but it's just for me to be on my toes. I get you. Can you remember that I told you that I'm non-binary? Yeah, I'll try my hardest. I'll yeah, so let's do the non-binary field sobriety test. What is that? It's like the one we do for binary people, except we call you non-binary first. Okay, but that's not going to catch me being drunk while driving, is it? Yeah, the, yeah, the non-binary version will catch you too. Well, that feels like discrimination. You're just discriminating against me for drunk driving because I was drunk while driving? As an indigenous person, that feels very unindigenous. I'll refer to you as Kai, right? Yes. Perfect. I need to know if you have any injuries or anything that would prevent you from doing a standard walk or a turn tonight. By the way, when you ask someone who gets their emotional needs met as a victim if they have any injuries, they'll be like, dude, 
where do I start? Most of them are in my imagination, but I am very injured because the more injured I am, the more of a victim I am. So I need you to listen to how injured I am. Mental health. Um... Any physical injuries? Mental, yeah. Yeah, my physical injury is mental. Cool. That definitely speaks to the challenge you have in your IQ that you, what's your physical injury? My, mental. Cool. You got mental, but any physical. Yeah, I, I, I physically un injured my mental. I don't know. I'm just saying okay. mental, PTSD, depression, anxiety. I get you. What else you want? PTSD, depression, anxiety. Cool. Now with your right foot, place it in front of Which by the way. Someone suffering from PTSD, depression, or anxiety, like that's obviously a state of suffering. I just happen to not really believe that this non-binary homo sapien actually has those things. It's just like the boy who cried wolf, the, the non-binary girl who cried everything. You start to believe that she doesn't really have anything if she says she has everything. Move your left in a heel to toe touching manner with your arms by your side, just like this, ma'am. Not call me ma'am, please. I'm trying my hardest. Okay, well. Okay. It means a lot to me. I'm trying my hardest. I don't feel like a man, so. Okay. It's kind of triggering. Right for. Oh, oh, man, wow, that was very triggering. <laughs> <laughs> Police brutality. He, being a woman, he called me a man, and I 100% imagine that I'm not a woman, yet he still referred to me as such. This is very triggering. Foot in front of your left. Nope, go back. I'm sorry, but the whole man thing, just like... That's the thing. I, that That's... I need to not take this field sobriety test because you called me man. This is just... I mean, this is like the Rodney King incident. He called me ma'am twice. I apologize. Let's see if we can move Sorry. forward from it. You have zero questions? No, but I just want to tell you that I suffer from really bad anxiety, especially uh, with generational trauma and PTSD around white people and cops. Like, Generational trauma, got it. That's a definitely not a made up condition. White people and cops, I, oh, she, I, she looks white to me, I don't know. It's just. I'm gonna speak with you right over here, okay? No. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and place your hands behind your back. Don't, dude. Don't make don't, it hard. Please. Don't make it hard. Don't you dare arrest me when you're arresting me, because I don't want you to. No, nope. you're. You're gonna get a resist. Dude, I. You're gonna get a resist. I right? don't. Don't resist. Don't. Listen to me. Don't resist. Don't. You're being Come a here. white man and. Wow, you're being a white man. Wow. <laughs> no, he's actually being a police officer and you're being a criminal right now. That's what's going on, lady. Don't. I followed all of your sh. Like. I'm the indigenous person like f you guys. She just keeps going on it. Wow. Just, man, hats off to her. She is really committed to playing this role right now. You guys are scaring me. There's nothing to be afraid of. <gasps> yes, there is. It's going f Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the wokest traffic stop uh, we have potentially ever seen. And also, hats off to this police officer. Obviously, she was resisting the whole time. Then she really escalated the resistance. And hats off to the police officer for being so kind, probably way kinder than he needed to be. And this is just a testament to how most cops are good people. Was she annoying? Yes. Like, I personally got... I got to a level 10 annoyance with her and I was well, I'm just watching the video. So anyway, hats off to the police officer for being just so kind, gentle, you not falling into any kind of like he didn't even wasn't even like verbally anything but kind, which is just beautiful. But if you ask her what happened, she's like, yeah, this team of about 12 police officers, they had dark hoods on and they started clubbing me like a baby seal and I also am a baby seal as I identify as such. I'm a non-binary sea bearing mammal. That's what I am. So great job by the police officers arresting this criminal. You know, someone drunk driving, putting other people's lives in danger is also fun to watch.
It's just fun to watch. It would not have been fun to watch if it's just like a drunk person, like, oh crap, you got me or whatever. But she made it fun. She made it fun. She was imagining things. And she was imagining them out loud. So with that said, my beautiful freedom loving friend, this is the woke DUI traffic incident. Appreciate you watching and I'll look forward to seeing you on our next video. But before that, I got a special message for you. Hi. If you're someone who likes to take no responsibility and have no control for your health and well-being, then please don't pay attention to this. But if you're someone who realizes that health equals freedom and you're not gonna be healthy by accident, then I wanna tell you about Bond Charge, a holistic wellness company that offers a wide range of evidence-based products designed to help you optimize your life and health in every way. There's a dynamic duo of Bond Charge products that I use because I'm always looking for ways to feel more energy, help me de-stress, be more mindful, and get better sleep. The first part of my routine, I get on the Bond Charge PEMF mat for 20 minutes. PEMF stands for Pulsed Electromagnetic Frequency. It grounds you into the Earth's frequency, and I've been absolutely amazed at what it does to help me overcome aches and pains and de-stressing myself. Plus, it's got infrared light technology embedded in it. And then I immediately go into the Bond Charge Infrared Sauna Blanket. The infrared sauna system elevates your heart rate to that of exercise, so it's a tremendous boost for your metabolism, helps you detoxify, de-stress, and I find I sleep way better when I'm regularly using it. Plus, there is absolutely no better sauna system on the market that's more affordable and more compact and convenient. If you want to check out the Bond Charge Infrared Sauna Blanket and PEMF mat or any of their other amazing products like blue light blocking glasses, then first get in your underwear and then go to bondcharge.com slash jpreacts. And while you're there, be sure to use a discount code jpreacts for 15% off. Enjoy, my friend.